Ron Nesmith, 1075 Railway Crossing, Western New York. I'm here this evening to discuss item number four on tonight's agenda. It wants to disband the Special Police. And this item was just added to today's agenda just seven hours ago. Why wasn't the process followed? It puts important items of the town board in the official town newspaper a week before the meeting so residents can call and ask questions before the meeting day. That can't be done tonight, can it? No transparency. People found out about this seven hours ago. And yet you're going to take an action tonight, says a resolution, on something that should be discussed with the Webster residents at a workshop or at some other time. Uh, my, my question would be, what is the hurry to disband the Webster Police, Special Police, after 30 years without a proper discussion with Webster residents? Has the town board done any studies on what the effect and cost are going to be to disband Special Police? And could you report those results to the Webster taxpayers? I'm sure Mr. Adams could figure out the hours worked by the Special Police and convert those hours into police overtime hours and give the residents that $100,000 number very easily. Is the town board actually going to disband the Webster Special Police tonight without a plan going forward? Because it says here in the bottom, based on this research, it has been determined that the current configuration of the volunteers is not sustainable. And a new solution has, has to be created. What is the new solution? And how long does Webster have to wait for that solution? These are answers and questions that should have been answered before tonight's meeting. In fact, Supervisor Flaherty two weeks ago wrote a column on volunteerism in Webster, in fact, encouraging it. But tonight, you want to let go 25 dedicated and loyal members of the Webster Special Police into the night. So much for volunteerism in Webster. I think it's a senseless idea to disband the Special Police until this town board tells us why there isn't much uh, more to say at this time. Maybe after the uh, supervisor's dialogue, I will understand more. So that's all I have to say. I think it's um, not exactly proper that you did this on such short notice. I think there's a lot of residents in town who would like a better explanation, and I think you should postpone this vote until you give us that explanation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nesbitt. 